Hello YouTube, welcome back to Super Lurkana World. It is your one-stop shop for everything Lurkana. And today I want to bring some awareness to you. I haven't done this in a while, but it is very important. There are scammers out there. That are There are people out there that are coming to get you. They are. They, they are looking to get free money from you. They're going to take your money, they're going to disappear, and then they're going to make a new account, and then they're going to come back, and then they're going to take your money, and then they're going to disappear, and so on, and so on, and so on. Uh, and it's actually quite pop. I'd say it's more popular to do this in this game than, say, Digimon, which is, which is cringe, because Lorcana hasn't even been out for a year yet. But these Disney adults, you know, we have cringe Disney adults that try to rip you off, and we have gullible Disney adults that will do anything just to get a little bit of Lorcana because they want to collect the game or give it to their kids or whatever. So just some things to look out for. Um, I wouldn't have even have had this video on my radar, but I thought, you know what, uh, one of the Facebook mods, Mr. Jacob, uh, one of the Lorcana groups told me that uh, there's a couple scammers out there. So I thought I'd actually use this as an opportunity to share uh, what's going on just so you guys know what to look for because I don't want to see anyone in my audience obviously get scammed by some criminal basically So let's take this Joe Jenkin guy for example here first chapter booster box 150 shift each PM if interested uh, Someone gave him the laugh emoji because they know it's full of poop uh, Also look at the timestamp here uh, Blake Combs you'll notice that the timestamp Blake Combs is different than Joe Jenkins. That's automatically a red flag. That's a big red flag. You want to know what another red flag is? Selling a first chapter booster box for 150 each. That's an absolutely enormous red flag. You don't see that because it's not real. If you see that, you should automatically be thinking, this is probably fake. This guy is probably just going to take my money and never ship me a box. If, I, if, I, if you see something that's cheap, that's probably what's going on. So I think you got to be careful with that because like obviously this guy was proven to be a scammer and was captured. Uh, Might have been unfortunately at the um, the at, at the I guess the accepted sale of someone getting scammed by this guy. Unfortunately, but this this has how it goes. Unfortunately, and this is one thing to look for. Another thing to look for is uh, someone like this. Uh, Barry Aku is a scammer. They have a different PayPal account along with having no reference. Leonard Nuasu. That's another thing that you want to keep in mind, right? If PayPals don't really match, or if they have no references, you know, th this is why people like to get on my, on my, on my, um, on my, on my, I don't even know what I'm trying to say here. People will annoy me because on TCG Player, you'll see these new sellers that are just coming on TCG Player selling a new card and and maybe that's it then they're gonna try to sell a bunch and they're gonna cash out close their account and call it a day people apparently apparently that's the thing that happens so you want to be careful for that as well so yeah, bonus fact if you're watching a new seller tcg player maybe that's the thing that's happening but yeah people with paypals that don't match and with no references at all might just be coming in for a cash grab something else to watch out for of course uh and lastly, I'll share this one. This one was a personal experience. There was a fellow back uh, when the D23 promos came out saying, I'm selling this Mickey Mouse for $100. Just for fun, I messaged the guy. And I said, hey, uh, you want to do this? He's like, sure. Can you please send it friends and family PayPal instead of goods and, service, goods and services? See, if you send something by goods and services, if something goes wrong, you can get your money back from PayPal. Uh, so, you know, if you do get scammed or something happens, at least you get the money back. Like, it's ba basically guaranteed. Pretty much guaranteed. Uh, but if you send friends and family, PayPal doesn't have to send you a dollar. So, like, if I would... That, that was the big red flag, right? If the guy would have accepted goods and services, different conversation. But the guy specifically wanted friends and family. Uh, had a timestamp and everything, but only wanted friends and family. So at that point, I said no, and I reported the guy uh, because, you know, you should be able to safely pay your money. And like a, a common decency thing is if you're sending goods and services, 
Send a couple of bucks extra, pay for the GNN, the goods and services extra charge. Don't make the seller basically pay it. Like that's not that's that's the opposite of common courtesy. But you know, big red flag if they're requesting friends and family. Because if you don't know the person, they're not a friend or a family. It's simply transactional. So I'm gonna leave you with that for today's video. I, this is a really basic and quick video, but watch out for those Disney Lucana scanner scammers. And if you know any more examples of how people are getting scammed in this game, please let me know in the comments so we can share this information with other people that are maybe thinking about buying Lurkana cards but should know what to look for so don't get ripped off and be the victim of a scam. Let me know what you guys think and I'll see you later. Bye.